going on everybody it's poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna be going over my madden 22 first impression beta impressions right so first impressions on the madden 22 beta now for all you guys who have access you probably have your own thoughts but i guess it will be good to still hear them just so you guys can kind of like hear see my perspective and kind of compare to your own perspective maybe some things you missed maybe some things i missed anything that you guys have as a perspective you know thought on the beta comment down below so i can see and i can kind of see your point of view as well as guys if you don't have the beta and you haven't played comment down below questions if i don't if i don't address something in this video that you guys are wondering about you madden comment down below i'll answer what i can of course i can't do live footage of the beta which is exactly why you're seeing madden 21 in the background um you cannot it can get your channel striked or whatever so if you're a person who wants to make content on it don't don't take that chance it's not worth it there's a reason your name floats around the entire screen the whole time with the number in case that that doesn't post anywhere you can't get banned from it but before we get into the video hit that subscribe button turn the noti bell give this video a big thumbs up as always and of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, drop a comment, drop a like, subscribe. Uh, but yeah, let's get into this. So, starting off with getting into the game, right? The um, the visualization. I'm not gonna get too much into visualization, right? Because the thing is, it's an unfinished product. It's gonna the graphics are gonna look better. The engine's gonna feel smoother. I'm gonna go based off just pure gameplay and new additions. Let's start with momentum. I think that's a big thing. Stadium advantage and momentum. Big fan. Big fan of home stadium advantage. Now, some of the stuff's a little glitchy. And I'm curious to see at what point it's going to be like they're going to have to buff and nerf things, right? I think there's going to come a point within the first few weeks where it's like, okay, playing in Washington, uh, the Washington football team field, where you can't make cuts because, you know, it slows you down because the mud field. The other opponent can't, but you can, so all day they're just running on you. Is that going to be annoying? Um, versus a team stadium where they just get more momentum just for being at their home stadium. So it's like, is the momentum worth the not being able to cut all game? So it gets to the point where, like, are they going to have to uh, nerf it and make it so you have to build it up a little bit or it only affects people with below certain change of direction or only affects people with certain jukes. They're going to have to definitely alter that. I, I know for a fact. I'd be I'd bet money on it. These home fields and stuff are going to have to be buffed slash nerfed around to kind of even them out because it won't be exactly fair, you know, for franchise purposes. What if someone picks the Washington football team and then, you know, you're the Giants and all you get is, like, a momentum boost or you go to, you know, the Chiefs get the momentum boost. Like, I, I'm not entirely sure how that's going to play out but i do like it i think it's a great concept it makes sense right in past madden's you load up an ultimate team game do you care if you're home or away no maybe the color of your jersey you load up a franchise game do you care if you're home or away no you play franchise you get the first seed do you care if you get the home uh, home field advantage all the way no but now it's going to make it so you do care right because if you're you know the, the chicago, uh, chicago bears or you're at the chicago bear stadium whenever you're home the other team's going to really struggle to kick if you're the buffalo bills whenever you're the home stadium the other team's gonna have a lot of trouble kicking. It's going to give a. It's gonna make it realistic, right? Now, why can you kick while there? Well, that makes sense. Because you play in that stadium all the time. The kicker's a job. He practices there. He's used to the winds. He knows how to kick it more left to get it to the right. He knows how to kick it more down to adjust for the wind, you know, whatever. There's a reason why it's there. And that, that is fine. Green Bay's super cold. People struggle there. Uh, in the in the you know in the Saints dome, there's a reason why Michael Thomas and everyone they all run their routes so well. They're so adjusted to that turf. They use it perfectly. And the dome and the no you know the no wind reasons how to make his throws. Other quarterbacks come in there from windier cities, and they have to like you know adjust the way they throw the ball sometimes because of course the ball kind of let uh, you know elevates with the wind or fights back with you. The point is, big fan of home field advantage. Now the momentum is another thing. You know messing up hot routes, messing up plays. I think again it does make sense it adds a more mental element to the game so i do like that if you guys know what momentum is our home field watch my last video i posted you will see an entire breakdown of momentum and all 32 home team advantages if you want to know what your favorite home team has or just in general what the advantages are a big fan it makes sense guys there's some games where you're, you know like saddle seahawks where it's so loud that the quarterback's making his you know his audibles or his hot routes and the wide receivers don't hear properly when they run their old route and there's some quarterback miscommunication that stuff's going to add to more uh, mishaps in the game it's going to add to more mental mental adjustments that you have to make throughout the game where it's not as simple like you know because mutt really gets to a point where it's just like cut and dry like same play same setup scramble make the read who can make the defensive play first right it gets to a point where it's just like it's just like a game of chicken you know who like who, who blinks first and that's kind of annoying i like the fact that you know you can blink three times but he'll blink four times and you know it just it, it just it adds more elements to the game in my opinion now i hope it doesn't like change it too much right because there's going to be competitive modes where that's what it's meant to be it's gonna it's gonna differ but let's move on to the offense uh when you're playing offensively it feel okay it feels faster than madden 21 next gen but it still feels slower than madden 21 current gen so the game still feels kind of clunky but this is my take on it right see if you guys can you know comprehend this last year when the madden 21 beta came out madden 21 current gen beta came out it was super slow and clunky and everyone was like user is dead user linebackers are dead safeties are dead defense is dead you can't play defense 
By the end of the beta, by the time the game came out, Isaiah Simmons' user was insane. Usering was good. The game didn't feel clunky. Offense actually had a disadvantage to the defense at times with the man, right? So, my take is, when and the beta came out in July, by the way. The beta came out like a month before the game. And it was very clear that the beta sucked, but the game was actually pretty good. This year's beta came out two months before, so they're even further back in development. And the game, I would say, is at a better state of a beta than Madden 21's beta, right? I think this beta is better than Madden 21's beta and way more far ahead. And this is two months before, so they still have two months to cap off and finish up. And that's probably, they're not even giving us everything. They're going to slowly drop things. They're keeping away some secrets. I know half the franchise probably isn't even in there yet, uh, ultimate team-wise. And my point is, this beta is more far ahead than last beta. So I actually have pretty high hopes for this game. I think, the, like I said, it was clunky last year in the beta, but then the game was good. So I think the clunkiness will go away. Um, you know, jukes suck. Jukes and spin. Okay, spins are okay. Jukes suck, in my opinion. Even with jukebox. But again, it, the, the spade is more of like a get into the field, get a feel for the game. It's not about making user, you know, user jukes and big plays right now. It's just, it's not, it's not that. But the animations look good. I'll give you guys that. So this is one thing that I really do like animations look really good like when you get tackled it's not it's not the simple madden like you they just lower their head and your guy goes flying or they conservatively wrap you up and you go to the ground i'm seeing tackles where they where they pull off on the leg or they go for the lower knee and knock them out i'm seeing tackles where as they're fighting you can see them like they aggressively moving their body instead of that super one where like they hit you and your guy just goes like this and he just like kind of juggles out of it and keeps running like there's more animations it looks more realistic it truthfully does look more realistic in terms of animations now like i said there's some work to be done now one thing that is pretty good is the stop and go, which was noticed when me and Zerk were kind of labbing. You actually can stop on a diamond turn, and it actually makes more sense to stop and go right now than it does to juke. The juking does nothing. It reminds you of, like, again, Madden Beta last time. You're trying to juke, and literally there's no juke. Like, your guy just, like, goes like that. He goes like this and just doesn't move laterally right or left, and then you just run right into the guy. So, again, there's going to be more adjustment to that. Quarterback scrambling. Um, it's weird. At times it feels fast, at times it feels slow. Again, I said I think it's the engine and the way they have the beta set up right now and how they're gonna adjust game speed. And honestly, I think game speed purposely slower in beta because they're not so focused on the way the game is going to play. And no, they're not so focused on the user experience right now. I don't know if people always like see that. In the beta, it's more about finding glitches, finding bugs, oh, fi finding bugs, finding bugs and then debugging them, finding um, you know unbalances in the game. Like you know when you throw a shriek to the left side, um, the wide receiver runs faster. Then he runs on the right side of the field. Like, there's a stupid little things in the coding that's possible. Like, wide receiver speed increased by five on the left side versus the right. Or momentum this. Or when you do certain things, the momentum boost just goes all the way up, right? So, they're, they're more focused on keeping the game slow. Playing the game out. Seeing the little details. Like, okay, when you run inside zone, the left guard um, logic doesn't block. He just gets unblocked every time. And then when the game is ready towards the end of the beta. Or towards their end of their beta where they're going to release the game. Then they kick up game speed and they really make the user experience feel better. And that's just my personal opinion. So, don't take people are taking the speed as the game's dead no that's exactly how it's always been like that and people don't always see that but like i said from an offensive standpoint the game felt it honestly feels a lot more fun to play than madden 21 beta and madden 21 was a pretty good gameplay game in my opinion i actually i didn't like the game i, I got bored of the game itself but i didn't mind the gameplay i mean I, I enjoyed playing franchise so yeah momentum home field advantage i think it's a big w i think they're gonna have to work on it a little bit um defensively user is horrible again it's gonna be it's so hard to understand defense right now my, okay here are the things i don't like I don't like the play art. Defensive play art looks horrible, in my opinion. They made the zones, like, it used to be, like, mid-zone, mid-zone, deep zone, deep zone, stand cover two. Now it's, like, deep zone, deep zone, mid-zone, mid-zone. They're all touching. It looks like a, like, a Venn diagram from back in, you know, middle school, high school. They literally, like, overlap, and I don't like that. They're way too close to each other. It makes it very hard to see. They're, like, humming and glowing. They need to fix that, uh, especially for adjustment-wise, you know. I think, again, the user experience isn't all there yet. Um, usering just sucks right now. Deep zones suck zones suck then no one's animating and jumping but again i think that's all part of this is a very early beta this is like this is the beginning stages of the user experience right so i think that's part of it but like i said what we can take from this so in my opinion i say you don't you don't take offense and defense for what it is right you don't look at the speed you look at a few things the animations look good it doesn't feel terribly buggy on offense like glitch wise the run blocking stuff looks pretty good you know the um the momentum home field advantages it feels great the game itself looks better. I think that's all going to go into. I think, like I said, you can't look, you can't judge just yet. That's why I'm going to make a few of these videos as the beta gets more updated or as we get more stuff towards the end or more news. Um, of course, no new X factors yet. Of course, I think they're saving those as well. That's going to be a thing. No new abilities. But overall, guys, I will give this beta, I'd say a 6 out of 10 right now. A six. Okay, as a beta, let's talk strictly beta. As a strict beta, I would say it's 8 out of 10. You get franchised. You get, you're going to get the yard. You get ultimate team. You've never gotten that before. As a beta that people can play early, it's an 8 out of 10. It's great. 
I'll, only reason it's not a 10 out of 10 is because it, it crashes a lot and occasionally it took me and zerk like no joke we played like maybe 10 games straight and they all they all crashed our xbox literally turned off it crashed our xbox like too many times in a row if we could play solidly like consistently and finish games i would probably give it a 10 out of 10 because that's for a beta you're getting essentially a full game right minus all the new stuff but you're still getting a full early kind of half done game right so as a game itself like as a game i think right now it's only at a four i think it's at a three or four out of ten as a game what will get it to you know a seven would be fixing the game speed and fixing the user experience and then if they really implement franchise the way they said they're going to and if they really fix a few of the visualization stuff and home field is as good as it feels like this could be eight to nine out of ten year game i'll never be ten out of ten there's always gonna be issues but i do like the early stuff that i'm seeing with the game i do think it's good i do think there's reason to have hope for this year and like i said it's only june it is june 20th remember that the beta they released was what june 18th june 16th june 17th that is a june 17th beta the game doesn't come out till august 20th so you got the game two months early mind you madden when it drops in august typically feels pretty bad sometimes too it usually feels this bad sometimes even in august right the next gen version felt this bad so remember for a two month early beta there's a lot of hope to be said that there's still two months a bug and a lot of community feedback remember there's gonna be more sometimes you you know you play ultimate team it feels good you go to a franchise glitched out glitches this doesn't work regs this doesn't work. that's because they don't care about that all they get is community feedback on ultimate team and that's on their own end right now they have a lot of the community giving feedback feedback finding all these bugs real quickly i think they're really working this year towards making sure the user experience is as great as possible after all the hate they got last year for them to give it to us early and give us a franchise they want to find out if in franchise you know when, when you're developing a left guard that they don't get you know dev games or they want to find out that in you know in franchise when quarterbacks at 90 overall they lose all their abilities from stupid glitch they want everything to be found out they want everything so i think there's gonna be a much more rounded game well-rounded game than usual that's not all focused on the yard this year you know so i like it i think it's gonna be a good game I think it has potential. I'm excited to see if they do update this beta in the next two weeks. Like, I, that, that'll be cool, right? In two weeks, if they give us more of the user experience or something, right? But overall, guys, that's about it for today. That is my take on this specific beta. Again, I will update you guys. There should be more news coming tomorrow, I believe, on Franchise. I'll get that out to you guys in the morning. But that's what it. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And if you haven't already, smash the like button. Come join. And guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Happy Father's Day. I'm out. Peace.